Welcome back to my channel. I hope you've had a fantastic week and I hope you guys have been liking all of my Halloween and special effects content that I've been putting up for you guys. Um, that period of time has been so like stressful and busy like trying to get as much Halloween uploads um, for you guys as possible and the love I've been getting on those videos and also like my posts and pictures is insane. The recreations you guys have been doing have been amazing to see and also all of the shares from like big pages on Facebook and stuff. Don't worry there will still be more like special effects and creative makeup looks coming even after Halloween because a lot of you guys are obviously subscribed to my channel for that. But anyway in today's video I am doing a Rimmel Stay Satin Liquid Lip Colour swatch video. So I got sent the whole collection I think there was 14 in the whole collection and I got sent 13. I haven't done a lip swatch video in such a long time and a lot of them do really well on my channel and you guys seem to really like them and when I first started watching YouTube and I wanted a lip product I'd always type up lip swatches for and then the particular product and the brand. I think they're so helpful. I know it's different on everyone but it's nice to just see how they look like on people's lips and how they wear. By the way Rimmel London is one of my most favourite brands. Um, they're pretty affordable as well as like really high quality um, and I've always loved their lip products especially their stay matte liquid lip colors um, and this is one of my favorite shades this is in the shade mocha I absolutely love these I think they're really comfortable um, and these are a matte formula so they have come out with the satin formula which means they they aren't fully matte and they feel a bit more like moisturizing and a bit more tacky on your lips um, I haven't tried out the formula of this so this is going to be like a first impression on camera as well. By the way, in between each product I'm going to be taking the Garnier um, Micellar Oil Infused Cleansing Water. I find that this one it takes off my makeup easier than the normal micellar water because um, it's got oil in it and yeah, if my lips look really red and irritated between each swatch I am so sorry. I'm first taking the shade Take a Chill Pill and I absolutely love their names um, of the liquid lipsticks. I think it just adds to how cool they are. Um, and these are 5.5 mils each and I really like the packaging and I like how you can see right through the tube. You can see the colour so that is really easy when it's in your collection and you want to quickly find something. One thing I will say about the packaging though is I wish that the name of the product was on like the bottom or somewhere like on the tube because it is on this like, I don't know if you can see that, it's on this like barcode so if you wanted to take off the barcode it will probably leave like all that sticky stuff and then you won't remember the name, like the shade name. By the way, these smell absolutely amazing. They smell like the Stay Matte ones. It's like quite fruity and vanilla-y. Like it is a strong scent and I, I love that. Okay, so this is the shade Take a Chill Pill. Um, I found when I put it on, it was so easy to put on. It is really like comfortable on the lips. It isn't like super sticky or tacky or anything like I would imagine. They're just like, like they say, a nice satin finish. They won't dry down matte. I think this colour actually looks like good on despite I have a fake tan. I think it's slightly too light but this would look beautiful on pale skin um, girls. But yeah, I would actually put this in the center of another darker nude. I just like that look. By the way, if you guys are from New Zealand, these are available from Farmers New Zealand and you can also get them online. In your country, maybe just type up Rimmel London and it'll come up with all the stockists. By the way, they are $16.99 each from Farmers and that's in New Zealand dollars. Okay, so the next color we have is 710 as if. Um, and this is like a slightly darker nude. It's like a blush nude color, which I quite like. Um, this reminds me of the shade Bear from Jewel Cosmetics, like what I was wearing in the intro. I absolutely love the application of these. These just go on so easily. You don't even need a lip liner because the application tip just goes right up against the sides. 
Um, but this is the shade What If. I actually really like this colour. It reminds me exactly of Bear by Jouer Cosmetics, which I love and use like all the time. So the next shade is more pink than As If, and it is the shade 200 Psych. Um, and this is if you guys like your nudes, but you like your pinky nudes. So there they are. As If is on the top and Psych is at the bottom. So this is the shade Psych. It's more pink than what I'd usually be used to and what I'd usually wear, but I actually really like this colour, um, especially on my kind of skin tone. Um, yeah, it looks really pretty. I think this will look really nice on a lot of you guys. Um, and it's a nice, like, summer shade as well. Like, it's not too nude and it looks quite healthy and it's quite, it's quite like a your lips but better kind of pinker colour. Okay, so the next shade we have is Shoulder Pads. Um, and this is like a really peach pink colour, um, so it is a much more pinker colour than that um, Psych shade. So these are quite close, so Psych is at the top and Shoulder Pads is at the bottom. So this is the shade Shoulder Pads. It isn't something I would usually wear, it is a bit like too pink for my liking, but I think this will look so cool on a lot of you guys. Um, so yeah, that is shoulder pads. So the next shade is It Girl. Um, so this is a even darker pink. Here it is. There's actually quite a lot of like pinky shades. So these two are really similar. The top one is It Girl and the bottom one is shoulder pads, the one we just put on. So this is the shade It Girl. I do quite like this colour, like it does look slightly more like pinky peachy than that last colour shoulder pads. Um, I wouldn't normally wear this kind of colour um, and it will probably take me a lot of getting used to this kind of colour because I'm so used to like my nudes. Um, but yeah, I think this will look so cool on a lot of you guys. Okay, so the next shade we have is the shade Yuppie, um, which is such a random name, but it is like a darkish pink colour. Yuppie is obviously a much darker pink, but they're still kind of similar. Um, so that's Yuppie and that is It Girl. The applicator just makes it so easy to put on without lip liner. So as you can see, this one is slightly brighter than the shade It Girl. Um, I think this would be really cool for summer. I think I do like this one better than It Girl because it's like darker. It's not like an awkward in between pink. And it's funny because I used to wear shades like this all the time um, when I was like 18, 19 and I don't really anymore. I think I've just gotten so used to like nudes and red. And that's all I wear. So it'd be nice to experiment with some colours again. So next we have the colour Obsession. Um, and this is much different to the last three. So this is where it like starts to get quite different. This is like a cool hot pink colour. It's like a muted hot pink, which I quite like. Um, I'd imagine so many um, of you guys with blonde hair or even dark brown hair would look really cool in this. Wow, and it's still so pigmented like all the rest. That's what I love about this range. I find that they're all consistent, like they're not patchy or like some are more pigmented than others, like they're all consistent with the formula. So this is the shade Obsession. As you guys can see, it's really like bright. It's like a Barbie pink, um, but it's still quite muted. I really like this. I think I'm gonna definitely wear this and like take some insta photos with this because I think this is really pretty, it's really glamorous and it's really fun. So yeah, I really like the colour obsession. Okay, so the next colour we have is the shade Scrunchy and this is like, I can't even explain it, like a hot reddish pink like floral colour, like I've never seen anything like this. I think this will look really cool on girls with like really dark hair and want like a bright pop of colour or even like blondes. Wow, so this is the shade Scrunchy. This is a really daring and bright colour. I used to be obsessed with bright lipsticks and I'd always used to wear like hot pink shades and I used to always get so many compliments on them. In the start it looked really 
bright like a bit too bright but I think this will look good with girls on darker or deeper skin tones um, so then it doesn't look too light fluorescent I think I could just get away with this lip color but I actually really like it like I love the color with my light blonde here I think this will look really cool for summertime so the next shade we have is rad and it is like a off red like it's it's almost like a vampy red but it's not it's like a pink red and I don't think I own anything like this so this is something I wouldn't usually wear but I think it actually looks really nice so I think this color would actually suit a huge variety of skin tones I think it would look really nice on pale skin medium skin and also really dark skin I think this will look so beautiful um, and it's like not too intense like it's not too much of a fluorescent color but it still adds like a nice pop of color um so the next shade is reticle and this looks like a beautiful shade that i'm gonna love it is like uh um blue toned red so that means it's like not too bright not too dark it's that perfect pin up hollywood red color Okay, so here's the shade Radical. I really like this one and it's probably because I'm obsessed with reds. I absolutely am obsessed with the shade. Like, if you want the perfect pin-up red that just looks amazing, smells good and such easy application, then please go and get this one. The next shade is such a random shade name. This is called Have a Cow. Have a Cow so random but it's like a vampy dark purple color such a random shade name but I think it will look pretty cool so here's the shade have a cow I absolutely love this color I think this is gonna be perfect for autumn or winter you can wear this like any time of the year I did find that I had to put on two layers of this lip color um, and it's mostly because dark berry shades like this are slightly patchier it wasn't patchy but like when I put it on you could kind of still see underneath my lips so I had to put on another layer but I find that with like 95% of dark berry colors you have to do that so the next shade we have is atomic and it is a fun Barney purple color um, I'm glad that they chose some creative colors um, in this range oh my god look at my finger that's from all the like smudging like look at my lip cloth oh my god <laughs> This one went on really well with two layers. Obviously it's really bright, so um, you're gonna have to layer it up a little bit. This one is super cool though. It's really fun, it's really quirky, and I think a lot of you guys that just love to have fun with your makeup would love this color. This makes me realize why purple was on trend back in the day, and I kind of wish it was again. I think this is quite cool. So the last color I have is Glam Rock, which is a gray shade, and I'm so excited I got a gray shade because I've seen lots of like those girls on Instagram wearing this with like a black beanie and like black leather jacket and stuff so it's like a insta baddie makeup look okay so this is the shade glam rock I really like this color I do think I could pluck up the courage to wear it out especially with like this gray t-shirt I think it looks quite cool um but yeah I think this will look really cool on those of you guys who like I said again love color love to experiment with your makeup want that like insta baddie makeup look um I think this is really cool and really fun so yeah this one is glam rock so I hope you guys liked this lip swatch video of the new Rimmel stay satin liquid lip colors I am so impressed with the range. I think they are so pigmented. They smell amazing. They go on amazing. I do love how there is a wide range of kind of nude colors as well as some fun creative colors. Um, the only thing I'd be scared about um, is them transferring onto my teeth. I think that they are really comfortable as well, especially after swatching 13 shades. My lips aren't that bad as what they have been in the past. So if you guys like this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. It would mean the absolute world to me. Help me get to 50,000 subscribers. Um, and also leave any video recommendations down below in the comments. I'd love to hear them. 
So I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.